welcome to my channel princess lillian's gardens in this video i'll show you how to grow an avocado tree with tissue paper please subscribe to my channel and let's get into it in this video i'll show you how to grow an avocado tree in tissue paper outdoors or indoors This is the growth that I've got now, six months later. I don't even have to check the roots. I was just watering it. It's got some weeds in there. And you can actually still see the avocado showing. I think we've had um, four of them successfully growing. And this one actually grown two out of one avocado yeah and then two three this one at the back four so i've got four of them successfully grown which is a good result i will transfer this in march because we're going towards winter. I don't want to transfer it. It's best to transfer your plants when you're going towards spring. The avocado likes to put out a very long root. So I'll put it into this pot. That will give the avocado the best chance of growing very well for me the avocado may take up to 10 years before its fruits but it may take less it's not just the fruit of the avocado that is good the leaves are also very good the avocado plant needs to be fertilized a lot you can use a lot of um, compost to fertilize it that will work well and shop but fertilizers as well it needs to be fertilized like every other month as soon as I put it into where it's going to be growing it needs fertilizing every other month for good growth it's a heavy feeder. The avocado produces a very long taproot, so you want to place it in a very deep pot. The avocado tree is sensitive to cold temperatures, so it will be better grown in a greenhouse that is under glass. So to grow this avocado, I collect the avocado seeds, I peel the skin and keep them in the fridge. You need tissue and the cardboard inside the tissue because I'm going to wrap each seed. A lot of people will say, turn it this way up or this way up. If you are not sure which way to turn it up, just leave it on its side. There's a flat and pointed. If you are not sure which one it is, place it on its side so that even if the root comes out of here, it will go down. If the shoot comes out of here, it will come up and on the other side, if it came out, it will know where to go, rather than if you turned it upside down and the shoot is coming out from below. So you want to make sure it has the best chance. Place it on its side. Do 
use this to guard it and we need sand not potting soil just sand we need to get plain sand that's what we're going to use and we put each one in like this so now i'll wrap it i already wrapped this one it's already absorbed the water so i'm going to put um, another tissue on it i just want to keep them separate it's on its side This is another one i have not really peeled them completely because the peeling doesn't come off that easily so just peel as much of it as you can you are putting it in the soil anyway so it will still grow so far you've taken off some of the skin the roots and the shoot you have a chance to come out we need to put all this in I have eight of them so I'll put them all in and let you see the next step okay this is the last one and I want to show you that I cut one side of the cardboard just because I don't want the seed to be having any difficulty the cardboard can open easily this will go in the middle now you can note I'm pushing the seeds right into the soil and then I will water it it has the hormones that will help it to grow you can see that the tissue is already wet the cardboard is already wet and then I put soil on top. It's not going to be far below. You can see that this thing is already right to the top. I just don't want it to be exposed. That's all. So it's very similar to having it in a bottle. Of water which is the another method that we use for starting the avocado Now, the reason why I want to use this method is because I can't have so many bottles. There are eight of them in there. I can't have so many bottles just around with water, with avocado in it, with toothpicks and everything. Since there's another way that I can do it. And this one, I'll just leave it in here. And within 12 weeks, that's three months. You will see it start growing. I don't have to start saying, oh, now I need to take it out immediately. It can keep growing in this pot all together for the next six months to one year. And then when we get to a convenient time of year, I will transplant it into separate pots. Make sure you use sand and the water frequently place it in a shaded place outside it doesn't have to stay indoors you can place it indoors you can place it outside not where it's going to receive too much sunlight and it's all right you can place it outside nothing is going to come and pick it because it's already in the soil so it's safe this is just how i grow it and six months later 
I get the results that I'm showing you. I hope you can grow your avocado. But try to wait for warm weather. If you have the avocado, just keep them. You can keep it in the fridge. And then when we get into the spring, you have wrap it in tissue and wet it and put it in the sand. It will work well. See you again when we're growing some more trees. Please subscribe to my channel, Princess Lillian's Garden. Leave me a like and a comment. Thank you and bye.